Hello. Uh, seems my bathroom was being actively flooded, <laughs> but I think it's okay. My daughter forgot to turn off the faucet. <laughs> uh, I made some cupcakes today with uh, regular chocolate inside. Sprinkled with some powdered sugar. Mm, nothing too fancy. I'm thinking of expanding into other cupcakes in the future. I just, I just won't eat them, you know? Because <laughs> I'm a very plain guy when it comes to sweet things. Mm, actually, most of the new things I, I make, like at least 90%, I never even taste. Because I just eat every I, the same thing every day. <laughs> so my wife does the tasting and I do the cooking. I think it's a fair, um, fair division of labor. <laughs> Which I'm completely fine with. Like, I wouldn't even know if something is tasty if I hate it. Nevertheless, you know? Uh, I think it will be final stream of Kingdom Come. After a um, very grueling 90 hours. Don't get me wrong, the game is extremely fun. But uh, it's still very long. Especially if you only play 2 hours per day. Then it becomes like... An assignment, you know? Hello, Divish. I'm actually ready. Uh, I'm glad. Aha! <laughs> At your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. It's very unfortunate. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I Ooh. think you should have the honor of the first shot. I will gladly destroy your town, my lord. I'll be delighted. I'll pretend I know to how. smash my castle? I can't say I share your enthusiasm. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sir. <laughs> There's nothing to it. The men will load the treasure. All you have my to bad. do is pull the lever. <laughs> I suppose I could manage that. I, mean, I am excited. The men will bombard Talmberg for several days. Oh. Sir Robard will explain what comes next. Take care of that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Divish. I know it's fairly emotional for you. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Come Shadow Fax. Gandalf is waiting. Yeah. You must help uh, Rohirrims in Helm's Deep. <laughs> I'm as autistic in game as I am IRL. <laughs> I RP all the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, what do I do? Fire the trebuchet. Alright. Pull the lever. So do this, yeah? Uh, where is it? Eh, no hit. <laughs> oh, they're still loading it. I was, I was wondering what's happening. Hmm. It takes quite a long time, huh? Mm -hmm. I used to make bows and arrows actually when I was smaller. When I was younger, I mean, when I was in my early teens. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. This this boulder seems fairly small. Hmm. Does this actually break uh, the castle wall? <sighs> Please load it. I'm a very important person. I can't I can't be waiting. Realism to the end, to the very end, huh? Okay, so this is the last quest. This is the last quest. So I'm gonna do this, and then there's this, I guess. Any day now. 
You, you almost got it. All, almost got it. Just a casual teleportation. Oh, oh. And there you go. Yay! We destroy our own castle! Yay! Fuck our castle! Can I talk to you, please? Thank you. Uh, Ishtvan almost caught us again. Ah, uh, whatever. Divish said, Sir Divish. <laughs> It's all the same, isn't it? <laughs> Sir Divish said, "You tell me what happened." Bro to becomes uh, Lord's son, and uh, that's all. Stops doing the proper pleasantry. For a few days, at least. So, if you have anything to attend to, now's the time. Oh my God! Just don't forget to come back. Take care. Uh... I should ask if I can help. Is something the matter? A few of them have taken to their heels. If they stop in Kutenberg, I'll be glad enough. But I fear they may have uh -huh. other plans. If those were the best of Ishvan's men, I might as well do something. The they'll probably wait to attack us at the worst possible moment. <laughs> My fear exactly. I'll gladly I'll get rid of them. Easy until, until Toth is hanging from the gate. But in the meantime, I'll be glad to know the woods at my back are clear. Can I count on you? Of course, sorry. not a tough task not at all. Bring back their gear is evidence they're dead. That's not necessary. I trust you, Hal. You don't even have to do the killing. Just let me know where you find them, and that'll be that. I want to do the There's killing. No in the process. Mom, I'm here. Huh? I'll be with you. Oh, oh, there's plenty, huh? There are three encampments. Hmm. All right. Okay, what time is it? It's noon. I have two days to kill. All right. Uh, which way is the closest? Hmm. Eeny, meeny, my. Nah, I'm gonna go to C first. Yeah. Yes, I'm. I'm an excellent uh, investigator. They don't call me Dora the Explorer for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to pick a spot for our vacation, and right now uh, the choices are Polish Baltic Sea. Uh, Hungarian Lake Dalton or uh, or Croatian Sea. But Croatia is the most expensive and it's the longest uh, journey. So, I don't know. It, we'll probably end up in Hungary. Because the kids just want to, you know, go abroad. It doesn't really matter where. <laughs> oh, I already found it? Oh. I don't want to kill them. Where are they? Wait. It told me I found it. Carry. <laughs> told me I found it, but I have no clue where it is still. I just decided I found it. Where is it? Huh? Holy shit. <laughs> That scared the fuck out of me. Oh, there you are. Because I mean, this be taken as disobedience. I hit you in the face. Ah. Raise the alarm? What do you mean? 
This guy fairly decked down, huh? Oh. Anyone else? He's just casual he's a face on the guy. <laughs> um I do need Groshen for Pibislavitz. Hmm. Sure. Sure. Uh Ooh, an arrow. Uh, is this good? No. Let's see, what about you? Oh shit, I didn't want to take that. Uh, Groshen. <laughs> Bleh, forest people. <laughs> Bleh. Um, oh, male chassis. That's a good one. Uh, I mean, raise the alarm. Who cares, though? There is no one... There's no one who would raise the alarm. Everyone is dead. <laughs> uh, let me go to... Let me go to B next. Where is B? This direction? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing but cannon fodder to me. <laughs> me, the excellent swordsman. I still feel I'm I'm over leveled for this main quest, even though it's the end. Oh shit! <laughs> I was actually close to killing myself. Parkour it way too hard. Horses? Hmm. Um I do have to get down. Yeah. Uh how far away are you from getting all achievements? Because I saw you were uh playing Kingdom Come just now. Seeing how some of the achievements are well, fail something. I imagine you'll have a hard time getting it. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Spooky music. Spooky one. <laughs> Very spooky music. I'm gonna... <laughs> You win. Yeah. You win, Forrest. Yeah. All right. Where the fuck are you? Where the fuck are you, Forrest people? Here, perhaps. This is actually part of the main quest. Yeah, it is. Okay. Hello, Henry's come to see you. Way too steep now. Is there like a path I could take? Uh, this is less steep, okay. Anyone? I 
I'll just say messenger. The carrier of peace. Oh, I heard someone. Oh, there they are. Who's there? I missed. Don't move a finger. Oh shit. <laughs> My bad. Oh, it's a guard. <laughs> I was so fucking stupid. Take your hardware and get thank you. How should I know that you're here? Hopefully, this will not go on my Rick. <laughs> oh, there you what are. What are you doing here? Why do you ask? Can I not take a walk in the woods without being accosted? I ask because I'm the gamekeeper here. I'm not poaching. Well, I'm certainly not poaching. In that case, you won't mind if I have a look what you've got on you. Certainly. Go ahead and look. Mm. All right. Nothing suspicious here. You may leave, Goodman. Saul Goodman. <laughs> Wait, where's the encampment? I found it. Oh, where is it? Is it here? Uh. There's the gamekeeper, but who are the soldiers? Huh? Anyone? No? Huh. Guess not. Holy shit, it scared me just spawning in front of me. Uh, let's go to Aiden. I suppose so, yeah. I feel like a god now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just lose to a, uh, the town drunk in a fist fight. Now I'm a god, like 1v10. <laughs> Maybe not 1v10, like at least like 1v6. Night of the round of the round table, essentially. Um, well, oh, holy shit! Uh, thank you. I gotta hope my horse spawns behind me. Thank you. Okay, where could where could that be? Where's the last encampment, huh? Where are you hiding, ladies? Huh? Yeah. I'm like right here now? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Should I riding? Doesn't matter, because I can no longer be unsaddled um, outside of town due to my perk. Hmm. This direction? Hmm. Hmm. It's a rabbit. This way. Where could they be? 
the right direction. I could swing by Pribislavis while I'm here. Might as well. See how much money is in my treasury. If there are any clues, I haven't seen them. I'm just looking at random. So this, looks, this looks like an encampment for sure. Probably not how banned is though. No, this is just a gamekeeper, yeah. Hey, get out of here! This is no place for the likes of you. Co yeah, come on. Stop it. Get out of here! Jesus. Some manners, perhaps. Okay, where's this fucking camp? Way maybe. Oh, here was the gathering of the witches nearby, right? This is still the poacher, yeah. Off, I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where else could it be? Okay, this one will take a while. <laughs> Like the outskirts of the circle. Almost out of it. I'm beginning to hear sounds from Pipislavitz, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Thing here. Let's turn around. This is just filler. This is just a filler episode, unfortunately. I don't like this. Direction, yeah. Boar hunting spots. Bro, who cares? Okay, please, where the fuck is it? About as loud as humanly possible in a forest. Where could they possibly be hiding? A cave, maybe? I've literally been everywhere. Someone there. Oh. Hello. <laughs> hey, who's the the answer to my prayers? Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. <laughs> I just fucking die. <laughs> All done.
Nice. Um, take this. Take this. That's about it. Alrighty. Let me visit Pribislavitz while I'm nearby. While we still have the light. And the only thing left is the extended rat house, plus the improvements, and fully rebuilding the church, plus the improvements. Just skipping some time, we should do it to earn the money. 6k, and what do I have on me? Just I'm judging. Where, how do I, how do I, how did I do that? Mm, wait, extended rat house is nine thousand, right? So you put in. Yeah, I've never done the judging. <laughs> I know how to do it. I, I I don't even know where. I want to build. Some. Certainly. We've already. I'd like to. Ex hmm. Right. That should do it. I just, I just, I'm just building things. Start. I'm just building shit, you know? <laughs> I haven't invited anyone. I'm literally just building shit. Nothing else. I, and I bought a horse as well. Greenery? Huh? Like here? We're gonna build here? Right here. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again. Mm. We've still got. The big tree. <laughs> well, as long as I still have to wait for the trebuchet to stop uh, destroying Talenberg, I'll check it out. But the only thing left to do is the church, actually. Only measly 17,000 or even 19,000 was it. A common, vulgar, licentious crowd. <laughs> mm. Uh, I want to build certain what about improvements Rat house I could use an good we oh you can just do it all right we're gonna build right here I'm yes. ready. I'll just quick mm. we've still got the surely I won't fail the main quest while <laughs> by doing this It is night time already. So I can't do the big tree, I'm sorry dude. Which big tree? There's a big tree in the middle? Now it's night time anyway, so I gotta go to sleep. I want to build but we mustn't wait. We can't you can't I applaud. Right, 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 right. Okay. Right, so for now let me go sleep. And in the morning. We will see uh, what to do next. Sleep and save, yeah? How much money am I making, actually? Uh, this is... Oh, there it is. 1600, nice, nice. How much does it cost to... Further upgrade extended rat house five hundred. Okay. Anything else I can upgrade? Oh, church seventeen thousand. All done. All done. All done. Can build. All done. All done. 
Nice. Uh, let me go sleep then. Uh, not here. Uh, can I sleep in here? I gotta sleep upstairs, huh? Uh, alrighty. I'm uh, sleep and save, bro. Come on. Where's my bed? This one? This one? Okay. Sleep till like seven. I mean, the game doesn't tell me how to be a judge, like where to go. So obviously, I didn't do it. I didn't even know that was a possibility to judge someone. Now, in theory, the bailiff should be the judge, but... But nothing more than that. Is the bombardment done of Tallenberg? Probably not. Still one more day, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Um... Oh, wrong room. Oh, let's go. I want to be certainly. Improvements, right? House. I was thinking garden. it would be good to have a herb garden to grow medicinal herbs. Very well. Come along with me. Really hurt. So they don't bother. I really hate uh, they're not doing the silent H and herbs and the, the herbs. Okay, whatever you're doing, it's not important. Come on, come on, come on. Time is money. That pathfinding was awful. We're gonna build. Yes. I'm ready. I'll just. Hmm. All good. Right. Now we're gonna gonna earn twenty thousand groschen, and we're good. The bislavets will be done. <sighs> Uh, I imagine this big tree. Uh, and now what? I'm at the big tree, now what? Huh? <laughs> Do I punch it? What a lovely view I have here. Hello? Hello? Any baddies? I don't have time, bro. I need to go to Captain Robot. I'll do it uh, later on, I guess. <laughs> what do you mean? I was waiting exactly where you told me to, and uh, nothing happened. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? Wait, is it done? No.
Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, so robot. Uh, I found all the camps. I found all of their campsites. The rest of the woods are clear. That's a relief. Now let's relieve ourselves of this accursed toth. Oh. Complete all quests? Wait, really? I actually completed all quests? No. I have a- I still have three quests in my, uh, my in- not inventory, in my- in my journal. There was precious little in it, and we could have lost everything. That's how it goes in war. But God stood by us. And in the end, they're nothing but a bunch of filthy cutthroats. They're sneak thieves and assassins. But does that make them real soldiers? Well, they're apt to wait till a man nips off into the bushes to relieve himself, lifts up his chainmail tunic, and stab him in the back. I got an achievement. Personally, finish all quests. So I'm really soldier. confused. Because you know just who you're up against. That's probably why Toth is giving us such a hard time. I'm here. Can't you see we're still bomb? Um. Luck, then. Wait, let me check this achievement. Complete all quests. Five point six. Five point six percent of players have this achievement. But I still have these side quests. No. Huh? So I haven't completed all quests. Hmm. Weird. Uh, do I just... I could just sit here, I guess. Nothing better to do. It's supposed to be a two-day bombardment, yeah? I literally have nothing better to do. I might as well just skip time. I'm sure. I'm sure there is a free pot of food for me to get right before the battle. Oh. Since Sir Divish's colors still aren't flying over Talmberg, I suppose we'll be attacking. Just so. That Istran's a stubborn bastard. All right. When do we start? There's no reason to wait. Are you really ready? Nah, you I'm good. I'm good, bro. You still wait. You won't have another chance. I've waited for 90 wait. hours. <laughs> or until your final rest. I'm ready. Let's do this! We're going to never back down, never what? The north gate and the west wall, which will scale with ladders. Okay. The attack will be split into different stages. Mm -hmm. Taking the outer walls. Could that be too bay, hard? And finally the core of the castle and the town. Unless there will be many archers, which there probably are. How are we going to attack the gate? We'll try to do as much damage as we can with the trebuchet first. Kieser claims he can even hit it directly. Mm -hmm. Even if that's true. We'll have to charge through a downpour of Yeah, exactly what I was worrying about. Portcullis. Portcullis? Fortunately, it's wooden, so we'll be able to break it down. But dealing with the defense in the Bailey won't mm. be easy. And what's the plan for attacking the West Wall? First, we have to get men to the wall with ladders. Okay. Which is no easy matter under fire, so we'll need as many men covering them as possible. As soon as the ladders are in place, mm. our foot soldiers will run. Hopefully, that doesn't include war. actually Once aiming at the archers. The we should quickly gain the upper hand. How will we take the battlements? Either by scaling the west wall, or our men at the gate will help. If mm. they can break I the prefer room. going to the gate, honestly. And the inner bailey? That will be tough. Even if we get through the gate and into the outer bailey. Now, we'll be a piece of cake, too. You have me. The I'm basically incredible so we'll Hulk like at this point. To anyone with a bow on the inner battle, we'll have to either fight our way through, or somehow get around them. Or with my excellent bowmanship, I'll just dis I'll just kill them from the distance. What about the living quarters? There, I'm worried most about the hostages. Once we're inside, Istvan will know defeat is. I'm pretty enemy. sure I'm gonna but get both Sarazik and Stephanie everyone. killed, but can be helped, I guess. I think I've heard everything I need to know. Let's do this! Come on, on Robert. We're on the gate. Remember, many of the Scalitz men will follow you. 
It could make a big difference. I'll help with the attack on the walls. Oh, you just decide for me? Henry. You've changed from an insolent pop oh, God. to a tough, reliable fighter. And as God is my witness, we Why will kill the pick it for me? Tarsus. A village lad and an old soldier. <laughs> this man must be shaking in his boots. <laughs> if he's not shaking, then he doesn't know what he's got coming. Just one last thing, though. No matter how good the plan is, of course, something always gets like Rate gets taken. I guess. Keep your eyes open and take advantage of every chance. Help your comrades and don't go rushing in where you're outnumbered. <laughs> That's my Last specialty, thing, actually. One position after another. I'll remember that. Good luck to you, stripling. I fucked up the infiltration you, just by myself. Good luck, then. Do -do. Do -do. Dun -dun. As long as Lord Capon lives, I'm fine. <laughs> All the other casualties are worth it. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> Bonk! Damn. Charge! Right, now what? Yes? <laughs> oh, that's anticlimactic game. Attack! That's straight, straightforward enough, I guess. Uh, yes. Hello? What are you for? Uh, Where am I going? Storm the wall. Nah, I don't need shields. You're here. Any bowmen there even? Well, oh, actually, hit it. First one to go. Giga Chad Henry, as usual. Business as usual. Surely I don't, I'm not gonna get bombarded with arrows as soon as I climb up. Surely, right? Charge! Ah! Hey, you have you are no match for me. Guess what I excel? I excel at mashing my, my button. You're just fucking dirt. That's what you are. Charge! They go here. Smash them! Clear those Me bodies! smash! Henry smash! You please move. Ah! I sent a clip through the wall. Nice. Ow, who's hitting me? You have you have no chance against me. You know who I am? You know who I am, boy? <laughs> I fought thousands of battles. Bro is getting killed from all sides. Can we go now? Yay! Up. Uh, Alright, the, the guy was only stunned, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I bet it's anticlimactic. We've got them! We've got, got them! We'll charge them from the rear! Charge! Surely I'm not hitting my own soldiers, right? Uh, like one more or two? Just keep smashing them. Henry, sm Henry, smash! Me, smash! Hours and hours of combat. Amounting to sm <laughs> smashing my face on the keyboard. <laughs> He die. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's Captain Bernard. Mm -hmm. I think no one has died yet. The private area. I like that they're actually uh, guiding me. <laughs> Two arms, man! Who are we killing? These guys? Uh, where are the other guys? Oh, I think... Oh, okay. So far, so good. Did we win? No, surely not. That's it? Oh, okay. I will, I will. Where's my dad? Where's my pa? <laughs> Hopefully that part uh, doesn't require so, ne negotiating. Give the order. Let's see if Ishvan Toth can worm his way out of this one. Don't tempt fate, Hamish. Surely he doesn't just escape through the battlements. Ishvan! It's over! It's Jover. He's long gone, isn't he? You want us to come and get you! I wouldn't advise that. Your friend Divish wants to see his wife alive again. And Sir Radzik? Are both hostages unharmed? For now, Hanush, unless circumstances change. Well, I'm glad to hear it. My guest is also safe and sound, but he's also quite keen to go home. I imagine you feel the same way. It's been a long time <laughs> since you warmed yourself at your own half. I'm in no hurry. I've plenty of supplies here. Grand view and excellent company. What more can what I bitch. want? Your freedom. Freedom? Freedom to get an arrow in the back? Sir. Freedom to get looted by Henry. Nobleman here. All bound by honor. I give you my word as a nothing wink, lord wink. and that of my companions. If you release Lady Stephanie and Sir Radzig, you may leave the castle with your men and go on your way unharmed. My men? What men? This one man. <laughs> and just how far will we get? What good will it do me if your men attack us in the woods instead of here? If you give me your word of honor that you will leave <laughs> Surely. and never return, Surely he will. I promise you safe passage to the boundary of this fiefdom. What happens after well, that Henry is has something to say. And the will of God Almighty. Very well then. But I want a small safeguard. I'll give you her ladyship. But Radzig comes with me. I'll release him in scallets. Out of the question! Hmm. Is our word not good enough for you? Is mine not good enough for you? I swear I'll release him when I get to a safe distance. In what condition now? I'll go with him, Hanush. Let the Lady Stephanie have her freedom now. A true Brother, gentleman. Don't worry, son. I trust Lord Toth's self-interest more than his word. He wouldn't be fool enough to harm me. If you're certain, Radzig, 
Prepare horses and supplies, and tell your men to pull back. We'll come down. You heard him. Get to work. And any man who breaks his truce answers to me. Capone is alive. So you Yay. Really let him go. I word is my bond, Henry. He's a cutthroat and a liar. Good men are dead. Yeah. What's to stop us from skewering him? Yeah. <laughs> Our honor. If you let him go, he'll who do the same thing. Or worse, God's justice will find him. <laughs> then, uh -huh. have a taste of my mace. If we break our word of honor, mm. we have none. Yeah. And without honor, we are nothing. Never fear. Your father will be all right. Never your fear, Henry is here. Better. <laughs> Bring the horses. Bring Shadowfax. Here she is, as I promised. Not a hair on her head harmed. Divish. It's done for me. <laughs> Give me <laughs> husband. I'm sorry. For what? I'm so Let emotional, guys. I don't think I can I can hold Come my emotions on. any longer. I'd be. You're not to blame. I didn't know who he was. I said he was your friend. I'm sorry, I'm just a woman. Did he hurt you? <laughs> no. Surely Henry doesn't uh, break the truth. Trusted. Certainly more than yours. If everything goes as agreed, I'll set Radzig free in Scalitz. If anyone tries to follow us, I'll kill him. Ugh. We won't. Surely Radzig won't get killed by bandits roaming around the land. My apologies for keeping you from your father, but you'll see each other soon enough. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, that sword. sword. I expect you'll want it back after all the trouble you went to. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I think I it as a memento. This isn't over. I'll find you. I look forward to it. Yeah! Ha! What a plot twist. Quick! To the battlements! We have to see which way they go! Well, technically they are supposed to go to Scalitz. Oh, they really are heading for Scalitz. Mount up, Henry. You've heard what he'll do if we follow them. We're not going to follow them. We just have to collect your father. Or do you want him to walk back here when they're released? <laughs> Bros before hoes. Capon is a true friend. <laughs> Capon. Capon? Capon. It's not Al Capone. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're a horse's ass. <laughs> We're not galloping, yeah? Ah! Ah! He's a noble. <laughs> Are you saying? Yes. So am I. <laughs> so Radzik will be there. How long is the way? Uh, so far away, bro. Oh, <laughs> I did commit a crime in Scarlet. Come to think of it. What do you mean? How long have we known each other? A few weeks? Something like that. Uh, Before that, woman. I was chasing wenches around Rate, and you were digging turnips. <laughs> what? Now look at us. Pair of veterans. Turnip digger, huh? Uh, I was an apprentice. Oh my god. Not a turnip digger. <laughs> Same difference, you silly bugger. You silly bugger, you. You silly goose. What will you do now? Not long ago, I only made plants three days ahead at most. Hopefully, he doesn't get killed. Maybe I really could do something. Hel while helping a friend. Something yeah. really. Ah, oh, there'll be plenty of time for that later. But that's for the second game. <laughs> the way you found Tom. Yeah. Sneaking into Rabbit Hill Road. Ah. Well, what I mean is, hats off to I can't hear you too well. You wouldn't catch me doing that. Truth is, I didn't think much about it. 
just felt I had to do. What should I say to him? Who? Rodzik? It'll come to you. You'll see. Well, I just hope he'll be there. I hate my horse is faster than yours, so I have to keep uh, slowing down. Make sure I'm not overtaking you. Cave on. Am I gonna fight Toth? Since he kills Razik? I'm pretty sure he will kill Razik and I'll, as a vengeance, I will kill him for my sword. Oh? Who the fuck are these guys? There's no sign of them. Move on. Okay. This reminds me of the scene from uh, Monty Python Holy Grail. They're just using the coconuts as the horses. <laughs> oh. Glad to see it actually is here. Words, sir. Not half as glad as I am, Your Grace. Well, we kept our word too. And now Toth has had his head start mm. and he's fair game. Which way do they go? To the north, but I would be careful, Sir Hans. Fear not, Your Grace. I have twice as many men as he. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Yeah, I thought... Sure the two of you have a lot to say I thought there would other. be a plot twist like that. I was wrong. Let's go! Right, father. I am. They treated me quite decently. Although they did steal my horse, so I'll have to go back on foot. Ah, uh, how nostalgic. Not by a long shot. It won't be over until we get this mess cleared up. And catch that bastard. I have plenty of experience from Pippa Slava, so I could I could rebuild it. Would you rather we killed him? Even if it meant Lady Stephanie and I died too? No, of course not. But what was to stop us from killing him after the exchange? Honor. Honor? Yeah. Honor? Yeah. If the word of honor of a nobleman could not be trusted, then he would never have agreed to the exchange. There's still plenty to learn, my child. There's the honor in abandoning your son. Hmm. You know how it is. We were young. It happened. And I couldn't marry a commoner. Then your father, I mean Martin, came along and took care of both of you. Classic. What? That I was your father? Certainly. He was a great man. He took you as his own. And I always kept an eye on you. <coughs> That you can be sure. I know so little about his past. <laughs> I'm getting so enough. teary, guys. <laughs> Oddly enough, <laughs> even though you don't have his blood, you're very like him. When he was around your age, he became bored of his trade and set out to see the world. He lived through many adventures, even fought in a war. In a war? Yes, in Poland, I believe. Hmm. And I don't think he cared much for it. Excuse me? He didn't care about Poland? That's why he wanted me to stay at home. He spent some time in Prague, then settled in Kuttenberg. But it seems he quarreled with someone there and finally ended up here. Mm. You know the rest. I loved him, but even so, uh, I somehow always had a feeling I didn't quite fit in. It was in your blood, I suppose. I wonder if you still uh, play Henry in second part of Kingdom Come. Probably not. I lost the one thing I had left from him. Your sword. Ah. Ah. Oh, sword. Yes. It's not my sword. It's yours. So you lost your sword. For Idiot. a moment there, it was so near yet so far. Oh well, it can't be helped. It was almost within my grasp, but. Just then, I had something else on my mind. Well, I think we may yet have a chance to get it back. This business with Toth is not yet over. 
unfortunately. That's a chance I'd welcome. Not just to get the sword, but that bastard Istvan too. And then I'll find that German whore son who torch scallets, and I'll slay him with it. Hmm. I'll never forget his face. Well, that was supposed Always to be man. one of the... Well... Mark Vart von Aulitz. Part of the main quest now. There is a noble intention, son. So I'm just going to fail this but part? But don't forget there are other things in this world that are worth living for. Like what? Mark Vart von Aulitz. Unless it's supposed to be Blue second, second overhead, game. Green grass hunting Mark Vart von Aulitz. Good wine. A few good friends and a fine steed under your backside. Preach. Those are things worth living for. Though I can't deny that swine who killed your mother must pay for what he did. But it's better not to dwell too much on that at the cost of those other things. On the subject of steeds, I think we'll have to ride like the Knights Templar. <laughs> How's that? Two up. One day I'll tell you how they got their seal. You can take the front. Poor horse. <laughs> it's like I always imagined it would be. Teaching my boy to ride. Although it would be better <laughs> if you were a little smaller. It looks so hilarious, actually. My word, it's all go today, isn't it? I wonder who this is. Jesus. I think I know. It's Margrave Jobst. The king's cousin? I wonder what he wants. I guess we'll find out soon. We'll probably enough. be in the epilogue, I guess. Poor Shadow Fax. Oh! Oh, th that's it? Oh! Okay. So after this is done, I'm gonna check the character stats, you said? So just skip it. Uh. I am very thankful for all the people who made this game. Don't get me wrong, but escape. <laughs> Can I live happily ever after with Teresa now? Oh. You're doing well, son. Oh, Father. I guess these are wrong subtitles. Come now. You know who sired you. Uh, it doesn't matter now. Oh, there is. Okay. I miss you and Ma. You and Ma. Pa and Ma. I miss you very much. You'll be fine. We're proud of you. Yo, Hanka is even ruining this. Uh, yeah. Very sad moment. I let you down. I, I lost the sword. I let that bastard get away. Don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could have done. To Ruining the Lion King moment. And someone has to live and carry the torch. As for the sword, it's just a thing. You didn't want me fighting. Now look at me. Standing up to evil isn't the same as sowing its seeds. You did what was right. Hey, right, let's see what more has the game to offer in the epilogue. I have to leave you now. I have to go to the Shadow Realm. Oh, please. You know I can't stay. I need to go and join uh, the first apparition of Herman, the executioner, who you killed at the beginning of the game. God knows. Make her proud. What a great scene. Oh. Don't go. No. <laughs> what on earth were you dreaming about? 
I couldn't wake you, and it's well past dawn. Sir Radzik wants you at the upper castle. The lords are in council with Yobbs. Alrighty. Right. I'll go straight away. The fuck are these pans, dude? What is it? It's just... I don't know how to address you anymore. All of a sudden, you're Sir Radzig's son, hobnobbing with lords and ladies. And here's me, as common as muck. <laughs> oh, give over, you idiot. Do I look like a lord to you? Not really. Sure. You're as much a lord as I am a nun. And I've never looked good in a habit. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, what kind of side hustle? Socks. Oh my god, no more Johanka. I'm done with Johanka, please. <sighs> my room is a private area. Oh. Uh, I'm about to uh, be caught for a crime I committed by accident. Uh, go. Uh, mm hmm. Okay. Let's start it at the lot. Don't move a finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surrender. I'm surrendering. Jesus. Not your lucky day, you fucker. You were seen attacking other people's animals, and now you'll pay for it. What? This definitely won't come cheap. What animals? Excuse me? I have no clue what you're talking about, but I'm gonna pay Hello. it. All right. I have I have no clue what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> All right. I I think I killed chickens and uh, I killed chickens and sheep. I think maybe a dog. <laughs> I forgot. I completely forgot about it. All right, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, before I go to Rodzig, though, let me sell off my my stuff. I may be a nobleman now, but business is business. But twenty dollars is twenty dollars. Um, move to inventory. I still have to finish Pribislavitz, you know? Garlic soup for the winter, onion soup for the spring. I mean, I, mean, I don't Garlic actually, but... Oh, just take a second. Greetings! <laughs> Greetings. As I said, I need money to finish off, uh, to finish the church at Pribislavid. I'd like to. Well, I can just skip time and I'll eventually get the money, but. All right. All right. Now we can go. <laughs> See, it took almost no time. You hothead. The Austrian hothead. You turn him bigger. Oh, how? Another cutscene, huh? Are you going huh? to meeting with Margrave Jobst as well? I am. What about Istvan? I assume that we didn't catch him? No. Because if we had, you'd be the first one Fuck to... Fuck the church. Have no fear. That's finished. blasphemy, my dude. I hope you're right. Anyway, let's go and see what Jobst wants from us. I want the achievement of finishing previous life.
My lords, Christ's blessings on you all. <laughs> and on you, Lord Capon. I imagine it says Yops. And this is my son, Henry. I didn't know you had a son, Sir Redzig. It came as a bit of a surprise to young Henry, too. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman here is John II of Liechtenstein, mm. a member of my council. All right. I'm honored, gentlemen. Likewise. Come join us. My <laughs> Yops was just about to tell us the reason for his visit. Your Grace. I'm Precisely, sure we'll all I agreed, your graces, that all this unrest must come to an end. This kingdom needs a king. Question and Henry shall be the king. My cousin, Wenceslas the Fourth. So I imagine this will be the second part of the game. Breaking, breaking out Wenceslas from prison. I hope that your answer surprises me a little. If I'm correctly informed, until recently you sided with your other cousin Sigismund. That I cannot deny. Fish posh. I have always stated Let bygones be bygones. But times have changed. How they changed, your grace. Sir, there is one thing on which we undoubtedly concur. That King Wenceslas, unfortunately, did not inherit his father's gift. For anyway, Henry by his side Sadly, as the advisor. His failures have cost Bohemia, the nobles, and our whole Luxembourg family a great deal of money and effort. How did the king let it go so far, damn it? It's in his temperament. He cares only for wine, women, and the... Ah, heart. like Capon. <laughs> king, in fact, who never wanted to be king. Then why didn't he just let his brother have the crown? Young sir, the crown weighs heavy when there are duties to be performed. But to surrender it means mm. giving up great privileges to... Right. But he did surrender power to his brother. When things started getting out of hand, Wenceslas appealed to Sigismund for help in restoring order. What right. you're saying, Wenceslas has invited him here? This is starting to make my head spin. Actually, it makes sense when you think about it. Sigismund wanted to re-establish the power of the whole House of Luxembourg. He thought if he helped Wenceslas win the imperial crown, in return, his brother would help. It's like, po it's like when Poles uh, invited Swedes to pillage our land in the 17th century. The empire to him. Sigismund would govern while Wenceslas could carry on doing what he was best mm. at, enjoying the life fair of the exchange. imperial court. <laughs> Why wasn't Wenceslas crowned Holy Roman Emperor long ago? He was already elected King of the Romans. All he had to do was go and let the Pope put the damn imperial Romans crown anymore. on his head. Who knows? Maybe he'd prefer hunting and consorting with bathhouse wenches to spending time with the Pope. Well, so would I. <laughs> me. Sigismund's plan seemed sound enough. Base but it didn't answer. quite work out, did it? It worked for a while. He and his brother reached an agreement. Sigismund took over administration of the kingdom and began planning Wenceslas's journey to Rome for the imperial coronation. But then Wenceslas realized he would just be a puppet with a crown. I must say, Margrave Jobst. Wenceslas and Prokop behave rather like naughty children in need of a good clout about the ears. Sigismund would agree. He was already planning his rule of Bohemia. Wenceslas just wants that clout. The rug was pulled from under him. I'd say he lost his patience and decided he'd drag Wenceslas to the coronation, kicking and screaming if he had to. Just like a naughty child, as you say. Mm. So he abducted him and your brother Prokop too, if I heard correctly. Hear it? And you helped him do it, if I heard correctly. Yes, your graces, it's true. I was there when Sigismund abducted Prokop. I thought everything could somehow be settled that we could make my brother see sense. Mm. But Sigismund just wanted to put an end to the dispute once and for all. Whatever the cost, there was nothing I could do to stop him. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Ah. The worst of it is that it was all for nothing. Instead of putting a stop to the revolt, it escalated it, and the result is this chaos we have today. That's true enough, mm. sir. But I must admit now, I'm not sure what your position is. The king is incompetent, but we must protect him. The simple truth, gentlemen, is that for all of Wenceslas's faults, we have no one else. Mm. So we'll have to make do with his idleness. Ugh. People like him, though. 
But what can we do now? Sigismund has the League of Lords behind him. Otto von Bergo. He doesn't have Henry now. Von Rosenberg. The situation has gotten completely out of control. Now even the nobles of the League of Lords are realizing that Sigismund wasn't the right choice. So now Bergoff is on your side. Are we to assemble an army together with him and face Sigismund on the field of battle? We're not in Hungary now. Such affairs may be settled elegantly without unnecessary hostilities or mm -hmm. expenses. I have negotiated an alliance with the Hungarian bishops, the Polish, and of course the Czech nobility against Sigismund. Mm -hmm. Every day he is losing the ground under his feet, and that's why I need your help too. Go on. What kind of help, though? Sigismund has a massive army, and Rosenberg, Burghoff, and Prague are behind him. Do you have an army you could face him with? But that's not what I mean at all. There's been a you revolt in Sigismund in Hungary. <laughs> Partly due to my efforts. And now he'll have to choose whether he wants to gain the Bohemian crown, which Does is this a game have, like, multiple endings? Enterprise. Or hold on to the Hungarian one. He can't have both. And there's a tough struggle awaiting him in Hungary. I'm not sure he'll win. And Rosenberg and Berghoff know it too. They're not stupid. If I'll check it out after the game. If the nobility ends. stands together, they will turn. We are men of little consequence, Margrave. Radzig here lost everything because of his alliance with Wenceslas. So Divish came within a hair of the same fate. Even Ratte is defenseless against Sigismund and the League of Lords. What's more, Your Grace, King Wenceslas languishes in captivity in Vienna. He can't rule too well from there. And what do you propose? To sit with your arms folded till the Bohemian lands are turned to ashes like scarlets? Mm. We have to put a stop to this senseless war! And do you know, sir, what the true position of the League of Lords is? I'm not on the best of terms with them at this moment, so you'll have to ask them yourselves. Yes. Am I supposed to be the messenger? Why not? I'll go and visit Burgov at his <laughs> castle and we'll see what he tells me. <laughs> you know, that's not such a bad idea, young sir. True. Oh, a little risky. Let's have Henry. I doubt Burgov would harm a blue blooded envoy. And you can find out what he has to say about developments and what the League of Lords is planning. Then we'll decide what to do next. I'll help you compose a letter to him. I'd like Henry to come with me. Of course. Why not? He's proven himself an able investigator, <laughs> and he'll also be a, good a disabled investigator, engineer. perhaps. And I'll send Sir John here to Gutenberg to be my eyes and ears there. I believe both your reports will help us get a better grip on the situation. Hmm. When can you set out? Just as soon as I've packed my things. Excellent. Margrave Jobs and I will draft the letter. Get ready, and we'll meet back here. Isn't it outside the map now? I expect it would be best to write it in your name, Lord of Light. So, it looks like you're off on a mission. Exactly yes. I can't wait. I don't want to dampen your spirits, my boy, but watch out. These are evil this has to be in the you second game, now. Along the way. Not to mention that Bergov is no saint. Don't worry. I know. You've shown you can fend for yourself, but do take care. You'll be traveling as Lord Capron's bodyguard. You'll be there to make sure nothing untoward happens to him. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears wide open. What Bergov tells you is one thing, but what you see may be quite another. Rest assured, Father. And don't get embroiled in anything else. Just hand over the letter, hear out his reply, and... Surely nothing will go wrong. Yes. Maybe they'll release it Very next well. year? Bergov is at Trotsky Castle. I think you'll find it quite an eye-opener. It's one of the finest castles in the land. It's three days' ride from here, so unless you hit a snag along the way, you'll be back soon enough. Any questions? Yes, that's, why he's, that's exactly what I said on it. I'm getting a bit lost in the Luxembourg lineage. It all seems a bit too tangled. The Luxembourgs have ruled the Empire and Bohemia for almost a hundred years now. Emperor Charles mm. brought this land to prominence. When he was in power, it had never been so good. <laughs> oh, disabled. Oh, right. Are his sons, but by different mothers. 
Jobst and Prokop are their cousins. They were entrusted mm. with governing Moravia. But instead, they've been in a bitter arm... Might as well learn some history while I... And while now six months fallen out with Wenceslas. Wenceslas also had another brother, the youngest, John of Gernitz, That is quite convoluted. most probably poisoned. They seem like a hot-blooded lot. It's hard to keep up with their affairs, since they tend to change their alliances from one day to the next. Uh, I'll, really this I'll uh, learn because more. Of King Wenceslas, he's the Margrave of Moravia. I admit I don't know what to make of him myself. Until recently, he was allied with the League of Lords. For a time, he even served Rupert of the Palatinate against the King. And now suddenly, he's reversed his position. I don't know what led him to do it, and one can't help being suspicious. It's best to keep a watchful eye on him. But he really is... Going from left to right, right to left, isn't Wednesdays. really... We'll just a have uh, to see trusty it ally. I'm a bit concerned so many people seem to think so little of King Wenceslas. You knew him, didn't you? What's he really like? Well, there's no straightforward answer to that question. He certainly makes a great hunting and drinking companion, but he can be very fiery and... It's like that first, uh, the first king like. in uh, Game of Thrones. He never had much of a head for high office. He finds it tiresome. But once a man's grasped the scepter, it's hard to let it go again. You can't just abscond. You've seen for yourself what happens when he disappears for a few months. Better a bad but legitimate king than a bloody war over the throne. Hmm. Who is this Prokop that Yob spoke of? Yob's brother, the king's cousin. He and Yob's warred over Moravian supremacy for years. Then they were allies for a while, betrayed Wenceslas, and sided with Rupert of the Palatinate. But after Sigismund abducted Wenceslas, Prokop fomented a revolt it's against a great him, history lesson. And Sigismund had him captured. Politics. <laughs> make of it what you will. I, for one, can't make head or tail of it most of the time. Uh, this actually was of what Lord interests the most of me. Off to see. Who are they exactly? They're, I have no the clue what the Allurs is. Powerful houses. Heinrich of Rosenberg, Otto of Burgos, Heinrich of Raditz, and others. They're unhappy with the way their influence declined after mm. Wenceslas surrounded himself with the lesser orders of Moravia. I'm sure I heard of Otto of Berghoff in my history lesson. And made him bow to their will. They got away with it that time, and now they've joined forces with Sigismund and done it again. But now it seems that Sigismund's behavior is starting to rub them up the wrong way. So they may well be thinking twice. We'll see what Berghoff has to say. Uh... Nah. That's about all. Very well. Take the letter from Sir Hanush. And good luck, son. Mm, Sir Hanush. <laughs> it's a good game to I learn things. I believe we have written it well, gentlemen. Without a doubt. No one could deduce from this whether we are Sigismund's allies or foes. <laughs> I must travel back to Burnham. And again, a 90-hour history lesson is quite long. Stop here on the way back. By then, Sir Capon should be back, and we can discuss how to proceed. Right. Before you leave, my lord, there is one thing that gives me no rest. Why did Sigismund come as a foe? It makes no sense. If I may, sir. I think I can explain. Oh, yes. oh, please enlighten us, young sir. I live not far from Hungary, where Sigismund reigns. It is a savage country, and the constant war with the Turks has hardened the people. They need a monarch with an iron hand. So when Sigismund felt the wind of revolt, he reacted Chemistry as a is was a great subject. I love learning about it. Nobles does not work here in Bohemia. Bringing order is one thing, but. Slaughter really and purging with a horde of barbarians, quite another. I was terrible at math, but chemistry sound? was but great. Sigismund chemistry, biology, great subject. To take his side. It was only when they refused his ultimatum that he lost patience and took to the sword. Mm. As for the barbarians, he could afford nothing better. The Hungarian nobility would gain nothing from joining his campaign in Bohemia. He didn't have enough coin for a regular mm. army, and so he recruited the Cumans. What he does not pay them, they make up for in plunder. 
but in the end, quite logical, didn't have enough actually. To even satisfy the Cumans. That's why he raided Gutenberg and Scarlets. He wanted the silver. That makes sense. My lords, how's the letter coming along? It's done. Then we can be on our way. Now remember what we said, boy. Look at that smug, smug uh, smile of your face. Listen to the answer and come back here. Don't provoke Burgoff in any yeah, way. Surely Capon wouldn't provoke, provoke anyone. Me. Never, Uncle. <laughs> we'll be back in a few days. Farewell, Your Grace. Me never. Come, Henry. My men are waiting. I wish you Godspeed. Yes, let's keep let's keep bowing to one another. Eighty-five Thrashen. Ooh. End the end the game. Any time towards where the off the map. I see. Okay. My men are mustered in the courtyard. We can get going. Oh, so I shouldn't be talking to Capon yet. But you, you told me to check the statistics, yeah? Set down plates. 3.7 days. 3.4. World time passed. 117 days. Money acquired. 236,000 groschen. That is used 6. To vault jumps. Food eaten. Meat eaten. I ate almost nothing. Well, I was just only eating from public pots. Consumed, potions consumed, wine consumed. Damn, that's a lot of kilometers. So on foot, distance run, sprinted, distance walked. That's probably from the beginning of the game. <laughs> time slept, time skipped, time bleeding, time starving. We we're stuffed, exhausted, poisoned, drunk. Hmm. Combat. Damage dealt. Damage taken. Knockout. Enemies killed 206. Not bad. Uh, people killed. Humans. Animals. Sheep. Hares. Stealth kills. Stealth knockouts. 10. 4. Uh, arrows hit living target. 56. Arrows fire. 222. <laughs> Blocked combos, yeah. Eight combo. I don't know how to make combos, bro. Value stolen, not much. It's pickpocketed. Value pickpocketed, nothing. Uh, jail time, 20 days. Quest completed, 81. Quests failed, 12. Locations covered, 16. Three. Persuasion successes 30, 70, money saved. Mm -hmm. Craft, skill boy, oh, I don't care about that. Herbs collected, 29 kilograms. Gambling, dice games one. Okay. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, let me get it while I'm at it. It doesn't really matter what I get, but... Okay. So that... Is for the second game, I suppose. Once I speak to Lord Capon, I'll finish the game. So let me run off to Pil Pribislavitz and finish the town. Just skip days until I get enough money, yeah? And then I'll consider the game officially over. Great game, I gotta say. What? Definitely, 
I would say top five of, of the best games I've ever played. Voice acting immaculate. I've never seen anything like it in a video game. Oh, is there? Hmm. We'll see. Surely I can't, uh, I can't fail by not talking to him immediately now. Skirmish, skirmish or a snare, I imagine. Uh, another one? Yeah. There were plenty of great games I played. Undertale, still one of my favorite games of all time. Given, well, it's a completely different genre now. It's a bit difficult for me to to compare games like these. Uh, how much money do I have? Twelve k, huh? What do you mean? <laughs> I'll have to look. Uh, Jade Empire, still one of my favorite RPGs uh, that I ever played. I've never figured out any of the ancient maps, but I'm too stupid to figure them out myself. And uh, having the uh, having the uh, actual location of the treasures being given to me on Silver Platter makes no sense. So. I'll just not look for any treasures. I can actually build oh, it right away. Certain. Let's finish fi very well. Come on. So they don't. Let's finish the church. Talk to Capon, and I imagine the game will be over shortly after. And now we stream League for a while. Exciting. <laughs> very eager to play more League on stream. <laughs> and get laughed at for my mistakes, of course. <laughs> And after I finish League, I'll probably play Lifeline. That PS2 game. Build here? Right here. I'm ready. I'll just quit. Mm. All good. Ah, how ass actually. <laughs> that looks horrible. <laughs> I was expecting something extravagant. That costs 17,000 groschen? Please, dude. Ugh. I hate it. But. Uh. Wait. Is it not over? So, how am I doing with... Let's see. The village's income is very good. Sir Divish will be pleased. The village is big enough now. Uh-huh. Sir Divish can bring in more people if he wants, and start expanding as he was planning. I see the church is keeping the rain out at least. It still needs work, though. We're on the right track. All right. What? What do you mean? I want to build... Certain. We've already... Oh, so I need these, huh? No, I'd rather not build. Uh, so I have to wait inside because I believe I spent everything. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I only have. Let's just wait. Wait for the money to be generated. One of the worst moments I've had was... Actually, there were two moments. One, uh, Teresa's quest. And two, making these fucking 60 cockerel potions myself manually. <laughs> well, like, at least 50, because I think I bought about, uh, about 10. If, uh, if my memory serves me well.
2.2, huh? Uh, let me eat something. Yeah, how much money do I need? Uh, oh, yeah. I need 7,000, huh? Okay. Uh, time to go sleep some more, I guess. Doesn't really matter where I sleep now. This is not my bed. Hmm. Fine. Which bed is mine? This one? I think there was a quicker way to skip time. Mm -hmm. I, just need, I need 7,000. I had 2,000 in the chest. So it's only need 5. I made 1,500 every day. So I need to skip at least 3 days. Actually, 4, because I'm going to be short. Some money. I'm too lazy to go earn money myself. I'd rather just do it this way. Uh huh. I've slept too long. Well. I'm waiting. <laughs> now that is gameplay. <laughs> hey, what's the alternative? Hunting humans for money? For Robart? Yeah. Like a true noble, I'm gonna uh, sit around and do nothing. And watch grass grow. Okay, let's see. How is my treasury doing? I'm sure Capon doesn't mind just st standing around doing nothing. Eat it. Nice. Uh, oh, no. 5.3. Yeah, so I need to uh, wait a bit more. Oh, wait, but my nourishment is still ass. Anything I could eat? Hmm. These potions are really like, give a lot of nourishment. Uh, let me go sleep. Uh, that's the wrong bed. Can I steal something, perhaps? I sleep some more again. Anything, anything fun you did today, Alea? Mm -hmm. I need to still figure out whether I want any overlay for League. Probably not. I always hate these custom overlay over the map and such. I don't think I need the map cover. I don't think people care enough to stream snipe. Uh huh. Now I'm starving. Oop. Did I eat again? Hmm. Guess not. 
Uh, is there a bakery near me? It is. Can I eat this cow, please? Uh, bakery, okay. Should be just getting stuff for free here, you know? Do I have... I like no Groshen, huh? Oh yeah, I gave all Groshen away. Can I just... Uh, can I just steal something? Just eat from here, huh? 73, that's good enough for me. Yeah, one more day of waiting and I'll be done. I'm sure of it. What? This is mine. Actually, I think waiting till five is enough. Are we done? Yes? No. Uh, let me... Can we wait till 7? So that the... Marius, I think his name, his name was, can wake up. We will build one thing, and then hopefully I'll already have generated enough money to keep going. To build, sir. Improvements, church. Altar. Time to ch hmm. Wait for him to finish whatever the fuck he's doing. Open the door for him. If he courtesy suggests. I'll just... Hmm. All good. Okay. Okay, I like it. Much better, actually. Looks more like a church I envision now. The exterior is still hideous, but I guess we can't have, have everything. I want to build, sir. We should have the. It ought to be grand. It's impossible. I'd rather not build anything just now. Uh, I'm missing like 200 gold, I think. T uh, 200 Groschen, I mean. Yeah, precisely. Can I just steal some from somewhere? Two hundred Groshen isn't exactly fine. Let me just wait. Uh, wait till seven. And now we'll have a we have we'll have everything. Uh, and the revi revitalization of Pribislavis will be ended finally. 
then I can proceed with ending the game. I would kill for some KFC right now. Mm. Unfortunate. Unfortunately, they don't deliver to my address. Ooh, where can I find you, good sir? Not here. Hmm? Marius. Oh, there you are. I would certainly. We should up. It ought to be great. Let's go to the side. We're going to build. Indeed. I'm ready. I'll just. Mm. We've got what. Nice. All done. Perfect. Ooh. Me likey. It's beautiful, actually. Even though I'm an atheist, I still like uh, good, good church architecture. Probably Gothic church are my favorite ones. These big ass spires. Nice. Oh. Form Sir Divish, huh? Who is where? Oh. Where is Sir Divish? And Tomberg, of course. Mm, hopefully it won't be too late. Oh shit, my energy and nourishment are plummeting. Mm, only 3 p.m. Very good. Yeah! Uh, he's like upstairs now. I oh, know he's right here. So Divish, I finished the assignment you gave me. Pribis Labitz is up and running once more and making money. And the church is as good as new. Indeed? That's excellent. <laughs> I can't wait to see it for myself. Of course. We can go right away. Good luck. Oh nice! I got the achievement. Welcome to Pribis Labitz. Well now, I've heard some reports, but to see it with my own two eyes, beautiful. This place was a shithole before I came here. Here, Marius did our best. As you saw on the way here, the village is prospering, trade is booming. Well, booming is a strong well. word. I saw the new buildings as we were riding in. You've both done a magnificent job. I owe you my gratitude and commendation. Thank you, sir. How did you manage it so quickly? We had to clear the woods and the ruins of the former buildings. I arranged supplies of building materials and victuals I arranged nearby. one Next million groschen. We were able to build what you see here today. And the church here has become the dominant feature of the whole village. I'm especially proud of our church. Oh, Indeed, hideous, really. you have plenty to be proud of. Thank you both. I can say wholeheartedly that you have not disappointed me. On the contrary, you have exceeded my expectations. Well, you're better. It's been an honor. I quite concur. <laughs> Master Marius, I'd like you to stay on in the village. As soon as things have settled in the province, we can begin with the expansion as planned. As you wish, my lord. As for you, Henry, as I promised, you shall continue to have the income from the village. Perfect. As well as the bailiff's office. Thank you, my lord. I thank you. It's the least I can take. Few could manage what the two of you have achieved here. Nice. Uh, all right. Did I get any money for it? Is a reward? 
question it, the answer is no. <laughs> It's okay. I like being uh, underappreciated. Hopefully, I won't pass out in the in the saddle. Due to both sleep deprivation and uh, famine. <laughs> I enjoy just skipping all the encounters. This scout, uh, this scout skill is so uh, useful every single time I use it. Be funny if I died of famine. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Where is he? Huh? Wait. Me, me failing it? Uh, it's whatever. He's like below me. Is he not? I feel quite hungry. Watch where you're going, you lout! Where the fuck is Cape on? I only just so failed him. Where is he? Upstairs. Where is he? I have no clue where he is. Sir Capon didn't want to wait for you any longer, sir. So he left. Oh. Okay. Fine with me? This will hurt my reputation, but that's okay. Barely in my saddle, but I'm holding on <laughs> with sheer perseverance. Ah, the memories, Neuhoff, the beginning of the game. Ah. Capon. How about it, Henry? Can we go? Are you ready for this? Of course. At last, I'll get to see more of the country and have a bit of an outing. Quite. Quite so. 
Nice. Got a cutscene, and we're done. Let's get to it then. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. Instead of saving his drunken majesty, I'd rather find that horse and who murdered my parents. Get the sword back from him and skewer him with it. Cheer up, Henry. Have a Cheer up. Your chance one day, and it won't be long in coming. Forward, men! Oh, dentist Fortuna, you must! Nice. I enjoy my stay, I gotta say. Anything else? Part 2 when? As soon as it comes out, I'm buying it. 100%. Up. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. So I can do whatever. All right. Perfect. What a great game. All right. So, as I said, I do like I have a completionist uh, achievement. 5.6% of players have this. Complete all quests. So I do think I did everything. Mm, I'm not going to do hardcore, definitely. So this is my last, my first and only time playing this game. Uh, and, uh, tomorrow I'll be playing League of Legends, actually, for a while. I'll see for how long. Mm, after my League of Legends journey, I'm gonna go ahead and play something old, as I said. So, Lifeline, probably. A PS2 classic. Completely, um, where you maneuver the main character only by voice commands. That should be interesting. Right, but it, for today, it will be it. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. So, bye-bye.